So with half equations, um, we just looked at a couple of examples. We looked at the example of uh, chlorine and the exam question just said, show a half equation to show the ionization of, of chlorine. Um, and you have to fill in some gaps, but basically what we need to do is we need to find the periodic table. Um, I'm gonna just copy it from this frame here. All right, it's got up there. Okay, um, so we've got so we've got chlorine. We can see is in group seven. So it's got seven electrons in the outer shell. Uh, therefore, it's going to be a lot easier for chlorine just to um, fill that outer shell with one extra electron. So we give it an ele extra electron to form Cl minus. However, chlorine does not exist just as um, chlorine atoms. It exists as chlorine molecules. You show the negative symbol on the electron. And so in order to balance that, we need a big two over here. Um, and that would also mean that we would need to give it two electrons because we need to give it one to each um, atom, basically. So that's the, that's the balanced half equation for the ionization of chlorine. We also looked at magnesium. Now, magnesium is in group two. Um, and so we start off by trying to work out what would be the what would be the, um, the the charge of the magnesium ion. It's in group two. It's got two electrons in the outer shell. It's going to lose those two, but it's easier to gain than than gaining six. And all metal atoms lose electrons for that reason. So we have Mg two plus because when it loses the electrons, it becomes positive. Um, because it's lost electrons rather than gained them, we put them on the on the right hand side to show that they came from the magnesium atoms and atom and now it's separate. We don't need to do two lots of that this time because there is only just one in each case, but we do need to have two electrons because it had a double positive charge. I'll do a couple more myself. Let's look at potassium, which has got a symbol K. Um, the ionize, well, we'll have a look at the ionization of potassium. Right, so <clears throat> uh, potassium is in group one. That means it's going to gain one electron. So if you want, have a think in your head. What, what do you think I'm about to draw? I'm going to draw an arrow. I'm not going to give it any electrons on the left because I'm not giving any electrons. I'm taking them away. And potassium is going to lose one electron. So it'll, it'll form a plus, plus one charge. And I show the electron has, is now separate from the atom originally. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do oxygen. This time I'm going to, we're going to give, draw the oxygen molecule like that. I want you to have a think in your head. What am I going to draw this time? I'll tell you that it's in group six. I'll go through this slowly so you can try to predict in your head what it is that I'm going to be saying next. Oxygen is in group six. It's got six electrons in the outer shell. So what is it going to do? It's going to gain. How many? It's going to gain two electrons. That will make it, that will give it a full um, shell of eight. Okay. So if it gains two electrons, we don't put the two down here now. We're going to actually have to do it twice. Um, each <clears throat> each oxygen each oxide iron will have a two minus charge because each oxide iron gained two electrons. So now, what do I put the electrons on the left or the right? Have a think about it. I'm going to put it on the left because it gained electrons, so I have to show that I'm giving it electrons. Now, how many electrons did it gain? Have a think about it. It was two for each atom. So in total, that's four. Okay. All right, let me pause the video for a moment. I'm gonna get you to practice a couple now yourself. I want I want to show the half equations for the following uh, for the following elements. I want uh, so we'll do question one is going to be aluminium. Make sure that looks like a lowercase L. Question two. We're going to do uh, potassium, uh, calcium. 
Question three, we'll do uh, fluorine. Question four, we'll do, um, let's do um, sulfur. And, and yeah, that'll do. Question, uh, we'll leave it, leave it just four questions. Okay, I'll pause the video and let you have a go at that now. Right, let's have a think about how we are going to do these half equations for these different um, examples. Um, so aluminium, well, aluminium, if we look over here, is in group three. And so that means it's got three electrons in the outer shell. We know it's going to form Al3+, plus because it's going to lose those three electrons. But did I give or take away electrons? I took them away. So they don't go on the left because I'm not giving them. They are on the right because they have been removed from the aluminium. So we're going to say that uh, one, one mark for the correct number of electrons and one mark for the correct charge um, and uh, make sure that you, you know, you, you've got like, you don't have a two or something like that. Okay, so two marks are basically everything correct. Uh, one mark for, well, yeah, like the right number of electrons or maybe the right charge. You, you decide on whether to give yourself one mark or two marks, but two marks only if you get everything right. Uh, calcium, again, we're going to be taking electrons away because it's a metal that's going to form a, a positive charge, and it's in group two, so it's going to form a double positive charge because we're losing, taking those two electrons away from it, and therefore they're now separate like that. Again, two marks for the whole thing right, one mark um, if you've made just a couple of mistakes but got most of it right. Fluorine. <clears throat> Fluorine is a non-metal and it's in group seven. Um, so it's going to be gaining an electron, which means we do put it on the left-hand side. But we have to, um, you may have got, you may not have got this one right, um, but I do want, I will be marking for it. Um, so it should be F2. Okay. So if you didn't get that, then you can still get one mark but we should know it's F2 because it's in the same group as chlorine. Um, so that means it's actually going to be gaining uh, two electrons, one for each ion, and it's going to form two fluorine ions, which will each one have a negative charge because they gained each one gained one electron. So if you did get that one right, well done. That, is going, that was slightly harder because it's a molecule. Um, so to be honest with you, actually, I'm thinking about it. Mm, yeah, I, I will mark for that. This one is unclear. This one, I believe, um, is just it, it just actually ends up being sulfur on its own. So this one's a weird one. Um, I believe it's just, yeah, it, is, it doesn't do that or anything. So whether you did a two at the beginning or not, uh, you can, uh, I won't mark for that. You can get it right or wrong. So uh, you get it right in both cases. So, but it is a non-metal, so we should know that we're going to be giving it electrons, uh, and it's going to, okay, it's going to um, be, become a double negative uh, charge because it's in group six. So it needs to fill that outer shell. Each atom has has to um, gain two electrons, and in fact, there's only one atom anyway. So. Uh, we just write it like that. Okay, so that, uh, and again, if you got it mostly right, one mark. If you got it completely right, two marks. So that test will be out of eight. Um, if you want to fill that in the mark book, and, um, and, and I'll, I'll just stop the video and I'll help with that.